Finally my soccer universe. Not much to talk about except two games and at least one of those was a pretty decent one. Talking of course Copa del Rey semi-final number two between Betis and Valencia. Um, gotta say I did not expect Valencia to play in the dark jerseys um, but looked all right. I don't necessarily like the new uh, the centenary kids of Valencia and I'm curious what Puma will get them uh, next year when they make the switch another team that Adidas let's go. Um, what shall I say Valencia most I mean a Valencia is really on an upswing I mean they started this season so slow and uh, was kind of troublesome overall but yeah I think they're getting the curve and I think Valencia will be a team to watch uh, in the next few weeks and last few months ahead. Um, I gotta say I mean Valencia had most of the possession uh, and chances but um, Betis behind a roaring crowd. I mean that I have got to say this was an uh, amazing atmosphere. Got the lead through a header and um, don't, I don't know now the names who scored. Sorry about that. I didn't spend the time to look at that. I just saw. Anyway, so uh, was I think it was after free kick. I uh, had it back and then uh, went right into the net. Uh, so Betis holds a somewhat lucky lead at halftime and right after halftime, a corner by Joaquin. Uh, finds its way into the net directly. Uh, goalkeeper kind of pulls it out, but it's too late. The play continues until the video referee uh, says, you know, that was a goal. And that got me wondering, don't the uh, referees have now a watch that tells them whether the ball was in the net or not? Maybe not in Copa del Rey? I don't know. Uh, seemed odd to me, but they got the goal right. So Joaquin makes it 2-0 and everything looked really well for Betis. However, Jerishev pulls one back uh, midway through the second half and it actually deflated the audience. I mean, that was from one moment to, uh, to another. I mean, they were still cheering, then the goal is scored and suddenly it's dead silent. Absolutely weird to me, honestly. Uh, and from that moment on the game and no, no one really knew what to do except that um, Valencia gets a stoppage time equalizer and looks now very well set to um, go to the final against whoever of the Giants and you know knowing how things are going although Valencia gave Barcelona some trouble and can give Real Madrid some trouble I would still say that uh, whoever wins that semi-final between Barca and Real is going to win Games still need to be played, but that's how it looks like. So yeah, that was the first uh, game to talk about. Uh, by the way, the final is played in the uh, Benito Villa Marin. So did I get this right now? Anyway, the Betis Stadium. I think it's the Villa Marin. Yeah, Villa Marin. The other one's a piece of one. Stupid me. The other game uh, was between Lazio and Empoli. <laughs> Pretty, pretty dreary affair overall. I mean, there was no Immobile playing, so I think it was Caicedo who played on the front for Lazio. And yeah, Lazio had the better of the game, but you know, Empoli defended well, except for the goalkeeper, who made an absolute mess. There was already a goal disallowed where the Empoli goalkeeper just could hold on to the ball, and it was, it was kind of touch and go. Milinko Savage in the face of the goalkeeper puts it into net, the referee blows it back, but there was really not much. I mean, he was just standing there, the goalkeeper can't hold on to, on to the ball. And while well, he made some uh, nice saves as well, uh, the few minutes later, again, cannot handle, handle the ball, fouls Caicedo, Caicedo gets a penalty, I mean, a stupidity. And uh, this is converted as the only goal, there was really not much more going on. Really not, not much more in that game. I think Lazio had one more, one more, maybe two more final chances. 
but you know, a dirty victory uh, puts them temporarily into the fourth spot, which, you know, me as a Milan fan, while I'm somewhat optimistic about the Cagliari game, I honestly have to say that I don't like what the whole world's coming. I mean, Milan is playing the Atalanta way too soon now. Uh, it's the week after. I hope that the upswing will continue a little bit. Piontek uh, playing well, but uh, has to be seen. I'm I'm a little bit weary. And of course, my biggest hope is of uh, that Serie A will not be a race for uh, top spot four, but actually spot three if Inter keeps dropping. Although I still would say Inter will hold on to the third spot somehow or get the fourth spot. So uh, I really think there's only one spot remaining. Well, we'll see. That's it. Ah no, Gagar lost to Lyon in the Coupe de France. I uh, didn't see anything of that. Uh, I think uh, uh, Lyon was up to nil shortly after the sec uh, after the break already. I think uh, early goal and then one right after the break, two early goals. Gagar only puts one back uh, late. So Lyon moves on in the Coupe de France. And that's it. Let me know what you thought about the games yesterday. I think the biggest one was surely the um, Betis against Valencia, uh, at least from the atmosphere. That was really amazing, I can say. Uh, let me know what you thought about this. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.